Listen to your favourite song or piece of music. Notice that not every singer is singing or band member playing at the same time. How do we represent these periods of silence? We use rests. But how do musicians know how long to stay quiet for? Just like the composer uses different note types to tell us how long to hold each note relative to the beat, they use different types of rests to tell us how long to stay silent. If you're not already familiar with the note values, you'll find this video much easier to understand if you watch my video on basic note values first. Let's start with the longest commonly used rest. The semi-breathe rest, also called a whole rest, looks like a small rectangle suspended from the fourth line from the bottom of the stave. You may also hear the stave called a staff. The semi-breathe rest tells us to stay silent for four beats, just like the semi-breathe note tells us to play a note for four beats. You'll notice that the rests take their name from the note of the same length. Let's listen to an example. The wood block marks the beat and the recorder plays the notes. A semi-breathe rest can also be used to represent a whole bar rest. A bar, also known as a measure, can have a different number of beats. We'll learn more about bars and how we know how many beats they contain in a different video. For now, just remember that in almost all cases, no matter how many beats there are in a bar, if the whole bar is silent, we can use the semi-breathe rest to show that the musician should be silent for a whole bar. A minimum rest also known as a half rest, looks like a small rectangle mounted on the third line from the bottom of the stave. A minimum rest tells us to stay silent for two beats in the same way a minimum note tells us to play a note for two beats. Let's listen to an example. It's easy to mix up the semi-breathe and minimum rest as they look quite similar. To make it easier to remember, remember that a minimum rest is mounted on the line and a semi-breathe rest is suspended from the line. A crotchet rest, also known as a quarter rest, is a vertical squiggle and tells us to be silent for one beat. A crotchet rest is quite difficult to draw. The easiest way to remember it is to draw a lightning bolt with a letter C hanging off it. The crotchet rest is positioned in the middle of the stave between the top and bottom line. Don't make it too big or too small. It shouldn't extend beyond the stave and it should be big enough to read easily. Let's listen to an example. A crotchet rest can also be represented by a symbol that looks like a backwards seven. This is less common today, but you may still come across it in older music, or anything I've handwritten as I can't for love nor money draw that squiggle. A quaver rest, also known as an eighth rest, is a symbol that looks very much like the number seven with a little blob on the end. It tells us to be silent for half a beat. Again, don't make the quaver rest too big or small. It should sit in the middle of the stave with a little blob sitting neatly in the third space from the bottom. Let's listen to an example. Be careful not to confuse a quaver rest with the older crotchet rest. The quaver rest looks like the number 7, whereas the old crotchet rest looks like a backwards 7. That covers the basic music rest values. If you found this video helpful, you may want to check out this video on the semi-quaver note and rest, also known as the 16th note and rest.